go right to it today. No, no uh, little sidebar. No monkeying around. All no, right. I'm going to go right to All the right. heart of it today. Let's go. So how come? How come it's so difficult to push past the boundaries of our comfort zone? Let me say it again. How come it's so difficult to push past the boundaries of our comfort zone? Hmm. What do you think? Because we're, know. Cause we're, cause we're comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> I like to be exactly comfortable, right? right? <laughs> that's exactly how you're comfortable in a routine. And it's very difficult to change those routines. Now, why? Why is it difficult? Well, you're, you're worried about risk. There's going to be change going on into the unknown. And the risk of the unknown can be pretty, uh, you know, pretty daunting, quite frankly. And there's a lot of anxiety with that. So it's much safer to stay with something that you know than something that you don't know. So what happens is that you don't push the boundaries. You don't do it easily. You know, there's happiness there, there's low anxiety, there's, there's reduced stress, all those little things that, that would define comfort. But if you push, if you push, the secret from my research, once I started pondering this and uh, said, why, why, why does this, you know, why is this so difficult? <laughs> pulling my hair out, well, I don't have hair. If I had hair, I'd be pulling it out. In effect, though, what, what happens basically is, is uh, you approach it wrong. You approach the changes wrong. I think we all have a big, grandiose uh, target. You know, there's a comfort zone, and, and we want to step outside that comfort zone. So we're going to take a big plunge. We're going to do something dramatic. And what happens, we scare ourselves right back into submission. So one of the keys is to take very small steps if you want to push past your comfort zone. You know, they, they basically, you know, take your time making decisions. And again, do it in small steps. Do everyday small little things. If you have a way that you're driving to work every morning, if you got it, one of those jobs versus a small business owner, but small business owners do the same. You know, you, you drive up one street and down the other and take a different route. Start start changing, start changing some of your habits and it doesn't bite you. And an, another minute drive or another minute saved one way or another, those little things start to build up and it becomes a little easier to start to push past your comfort zone. Uh, that's what, what seem the, the, the so-called experts, you know, they, they basically uh, have defined the comfort zone as your natural state. It's not good or bad. It's what you've accumulated and decided that those are the routines that you want. And some little nag in your head says, wait, I should start to do something different. Now, now wait a minute. How to do it. Now wait a minute. How, how does somebody know if they're in their comfort zone? Because I think you know, some people are just comfortable being uncomfortable, aren't they? Well, so is that, is that, is that still defined as a comfort zone? Wait, let me think of that. Uncomfortable. Are they comfortable, comfortable being uncomfortable? Right. Is that, is that still a comfort zone? So maybe they should stop being uncomfortable and <laughs> get comfortable? Sure. Why not? Why <laughs> depending, not? depending on the style. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great question to come in and, and try to stump people with, right? I think if you go in and talk to your team and say, okay, folks, what can we do different? I guarantee it'll take at least a minute before anybody speaks up. They, oh, they, they, they aren't waiting for their... What, is she serious or yeah, you know, it's <laughs> well, we don't think figure things out. We we think, you know, people will will again, those habits, those daily habits, they'll they'll maybe a big deal to them and that's is this is my whole point, will be to change what they eat for breakfast in the morning. Uh, you know, go to the box of whatever they have, if they have cereal every day, change it, you know, and all of a sudden that's a small a small change. And get used to making small changes. That's how you push past your comfort zone. Again, a comfort zone is individual to everybody. It's customized, and it's basically what you do. It's your natural state, I and how it evolves. It, it changes over time, but well, I was gonna say, I, I think what you're saying, Jack, is this, if you make those small changes, I think what happens is if you have your zone, you make those small changes, you start to kind of push on the walls of that zone. And to me, over time, what happens is you're now stretching your comfort zone. I'm just thinking what you're talking about. Take that if it's. You know, the size of a, of a lime right now, and you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, after some time it expands to where it's the size of an orange. And you keep going, maybe it starts to grow to be the size of a grapefruit, right. right? And so your comfort zone is expanding now. You're getting better, and I, I think most everybody has been through versions of that, whether it be conscious or, or, or 
subconscious, but you're saying be more conscious about it and really push the outer edges of that zone, but don't necessarily jump way out of it because you do that, you're, you know, the natural reaction is then to jump. It's like going on hot coals, right? You jump right, right back you'll, in. You'll be right back in. That's exactly right. So you, you have to try new things. That's how you, you develop a skill base to, to bring to the table if we're talking about employment, which is what we like to try to do. You know, our, our little uh, uh, discussions here try to make applicability to a small business owner. So if you're bringing in new skills, basically that only happens when you're pushing your comfort zone for the most part. You know, one of the, the little phrases, not a phrase as much as an observation, comfort kills productivity. So if all you know is what you know, all right, and we talk about a version of this all the time, people do what they know how to do. Well, you become somewhat of a commodity, if you will, if that's all you do. There are certain places that, that we need that. But for you to grow and push past your comfort zone, you have to take on new skills. You have to push yourself into uh, into the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense to you people out there. I'm just a little insight. That's joke. all right. That's all right. You're, 